This is what occurs when that old deluder, Satan, is allowed to make his rust in a godly community. Tis Mardi Gras, an obscene, papist, and Frankish tradition. These tipplers and revelers believe that they may indulge in sin today, for on the morrow they attend a papist mass, where they will be absolved for their evil doing by a so-called priest. Tis not so! God determines the destiny of every soul ere they take fleshly inhabitation. And I say unto thee, these tipplers and revelers are surely bound for the fires of hell. I am the witchfinder general of the colony of Massachusetts Bay. Consider the great wars, combustions, and divisions that are this day in Europe. Such ills are chiefly fomented by the sacred underminings of those devoted to the religion and court of Rome. In particular, those of the Jesuitical order, who teach their infernal blasphemies in a school not half a mile from where I now stand. This city of New Orleans would do well to expel such agitators from their midst, as we have done in Massachusetts Bay. Oi, if thou suspects any man of being a member of the Jesuitical order, lay hold on him and deliver him forthwith to the magistrates assembled in the court in the Shire in which it dwell. If the man cannot free himself of such suspicion, then he shall be committed to prison, or at the least condemned to banishment. And if any man so banished should return, and is taken a second time, then upon lawful trial and conviction, he shall be put to instant death. If such measures are not taken, this is what results. Gah! And if we are not French enough, this profane festival involves the prodigious consumption of beer, wine, strong water and victuals. Now there be no sin in tippling moderately. I myself have a quart of ale with breakfast and a cask of cider with supper. The healthful benefits of such a regimen cannot be denied, and it is to be expected of any working man. But excessive drunkenness leads to idleness, and it is the devil's gateway. At home, if a man is found so drunken that he is bereaved of his speech and gesture, he shall be fined ten shillings for every such offence. If he be tippling over the space of half an hour, he shall be fined two shillings sixpence. And if he be drinking at unreasonable times, such as after nine o'clock at night, he is fined five shillings. And if he cannot pay, he is set in the stocks in some public place for an hour or more. This foul city may be without me jurisdiction, but that does not mean I cannot preach Christian truth amongst these heathens. Behold! Yo, sinners! How long hast thou been drinking? The Papists! The Frankish dog! Tours! <laughs> then thou must pay a fine of two shillings sixpence for drinking more than half an hour by the laws of this colony. <laughs> why do you laugh? Why am I met with laughter? Ah, ah, why do you hug me? You're such a mind! What is this? Is this jewelry? I am an embraced! Boy slaves of the devil! <laughs> Let this be a warning to y'all! And as always, thou art a wretched sinner, utterly unworthy of God's love. A fountain of Pelosi on his day within thy nature, and thou livest as a winter tray, unprofitable, fit only to be hewn down and burned. Stay up thy life in prayer, and hope that God sees fit to show mercy on thy corrupted soul. Show you the Zulu King.